I do want to show y'all my vision board. I'll go ahead and bring it out so we can go over it together. Here is the new vision board. So again, I mentioned this in my last video that I did my vision board. This Okay, this was my setup. <laughs> Knife's out. Um, I did my last vision board literally three months ago and the vision is clear. That's about all I can say. So let's just go over it. So I've got kids. I mean, I really hope, you know, we can get pregnant and maybe soon in the next year or two, just overall having like a fit lifestyle, but very relaxing um, pool. This was very much almost like a vibe with very specific goals here and there. So alignment is a word I really want to stick to of living in alignment because when you're living out of alignment, I could do a whole video on this, but it is just, you are in constant cognitive dissonance and it's stressful. So I really want to do things that I know are aligning with where I want to be in the future. Barber, um, I should for sure by December be a licensed barber, which is really exciting. This is just kind of like a fit inspo in regards to just, I don't know, she's in workout clothes. So that makes me want to go work out. Not necessarily even like body, just like her being in a cute athletic set. I really think how you look when you work out makes a difference in your workouts. Again, just choosing healthy fruits and veggies. This is just kind of random dinner parties I am here for. I want to do, or like brunches with friends. Again, kind of just an overall vibe. Hold the vision really stems back to when I was first trying to figure out if I wanted to do the barber thing because I am a teacher right now, uh, but this is going to be the long-term goal. And it was terrifying. And so I just, this was what I kept repeating was like, Courtney, just hold the vision, hold the vision. Cute PJs. Once I have money back where I'm not paying for barber school, I definitely want to invest in just my wardrobe. It's been a while since I bought clothes. I want to feel cute when I go to bed, when I work out. I just want to feel good about myself and everything I do because life's too short. Obviously, just being happy more, um, smiling more often, drinking water, cooking at home, again, running, biking, lots of like outdoor things. That's, I love it. Um, stretching. So this girl has her legs straight up. I think this is called a needle. I really do want to get flexible and get both splits. I've only ever had one split and then like three quarters of one, but I really want to start stretching to get both splits down by the end of the year. Again, just like leisure time outside. Low waist. This is something, also I forgot. This one says polished. Just showing up polished every day, whether it's hair, makeup, clothes, looking like I put myself together. Low waste is in regards to like plastics and just really focusing on reusable items and just eliminating waste overall. That's just something that's important to me and I just wanna make sure I'm living in alignment with that version of myself. Again, baby, hopefully in the near future. This bag says good energy is contagious. I really want a canvas bag like this, but I just, again, I liked the vibe of this bag. It's like effortless girl who's just enjoying life is <laughs> what this board speaks to me. Um, it looks like they're camping and playing Uno outside. Money, I really got to work on my beliefs around money and just like my inner talk. Um, so that's just something I just want to work on, I guess boat life mimosas i think it's funny i have alcohol on my vision board because i mentioned this to a friend and they were like you want to drink more and i was like no i just want to make sure like there's a part of me that just is like interested in being a dry girl but a part of me just so much enjoys the social aspect of drinking where i was like i really want that with friends and we have that like me and my husband every week can do something with friends where We'll go out and drink or something. And it's very like casually, but I do enjoy it. And so I want to make sure like that's just a part of my life right now. Like that's the season I am, especially because if that happens, then mama's not going to be drinking anymore. Again, just a pretty sunset. And I liked that this girl wasn't wearing a bra. Again, effortless beauty. Like she just like threw on this little cute little dress in her 
little crochet bag and she's just off to the farmer's market or something. Like that is, that's the vibe. That is the vibe I am shooting for, at least right now. Who knows, maybe I'll redo this whole thing in another five months. <laughs> um, so I did, this is not the angle. I did want to uh, make a salad with y'all for what I'm eating tonight. I'll show you the recipe if I can. Let me go find my phone. Oh, there you are. Okay, tell me this doesn't look just so yummy. So it's blackberry avocado in arugula salad. That's what I wanna make tonight, especially before those ingredients go bad. Arugula, blackberries, blueberries, didn't buy them. Um, avocado, cucumber, feta, it says hazelnuts. I don't, may have that, may not. Vinaigrette is olive oil, lime juice, maple syrup, mint, didn't buy that and salt and pepper. So I will say, I tend to follow recipes to a T, but this was one of those where I'm like, I know I'm gonna be the only one eating this, like my husband will not eat this and he's out um, having a work thing tonight anyway, so I'm not, it's a salad. Like you don't need all the ingredients to like still get the vibe of it. I will say mint would have been a good addition, but it is what it is. I remember being in the store and literally Already went and did the produce, and then I was like, oh, I didn't get mint, and I just don't want to go back. So I think it'll still be good, and typically I'm not a fruit in salad type of person, but maybe the vinaigrette will be good. And I will say part of the reason, I mean, I've really been looking forward to the salad and the ingredients are going to go bad, but part of the reason I wanted to make the salad tonight, let's keep it on the lighter side, because I did have Taco Bell for lunch today and yesterday, my Taco Bell order, five layer beefy burrito and two cheese roll ups. Um, yesterday was the first day I'd ate out, um, probably since Friday. So we've been good about eating at home, but today I, I even took my lunch today and I literally ate out of comfort of just like trying to get through the day. It's kind of like, it's not raining, but it's supposed to tomorrow, so it's been cloudy all day. And when it's that kind of weather, I just want something warm and comforting. And for me, that was a cheesy <laughs> cheese roll up and beefy burrito, not my rice chicken and mushrooms and zucchini, which was really good last night. That's what we had for dinner. But I don't know. I know I've got to have other coping habits, and I'm usually not one to eat in terms of coping but i'm just this week has been weird with work i already mentioned that earlier i'm like losing my energy you can tell <laughs> um i'm just it's been really hard showing up every day i'll just say that so keep it light tonight get some veggies in me all right arugula block bars And then lime. Also, I'm gonna do myself a solid and make two bowls of this. That way, I'm looking out for future me. That way, it's just something easy to just grab and go and I don't have to worry about making it again, dirty up dishes. And sometimes you're just not in the mood when you get home to cook, even though I've been doing better about that this week. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make two servings of this. science to this. Yep, a simple salad. Toss the ingredients together. Sounds simple. I'm a little nervous about the arugula because usually I'm a, uh, I need some crunch in there, but I'm not going to deviate too much. I'm going to try and just arugula it up. 
Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna, I might have to change that. This is a little too leafy. This is why my husband doesn't like salads with arugula. Is. It is like you are a freaking rabbit eating the greens of the earth. And there's no crunch, no texture. some romaine in there. I'm just, you know, tailoring it to my preference. I need some crunchy. fact apparently avocados are like the number one er accident don't quote me but i was in the er once a few years ago and i overheard the nurse <laughs> telling um whoever was next to us that i wonder if they were there for avocado hand is what they called it doesn't show I'm lazy, I don't know what will. I'm literally cutting on plastic right now. My counters are clean, I will say that. Two tablespoons. 
Hold on, Dexter. So this is the salad, looks pretty good to me. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. You know, my dogs are hungry, I'm hungry. Let's give a, a salad a try. Mm. Not bad. Maybe it needs a little salt, but can't say I'd make this on repeat, but not bad. I'll enjoy it tonight. I just want to pop in and say, as I was eating the salad, it really grew on me. I've already made myself a second helping. Like, it's actually really delicious. I think it was the arugula that kind of took me back because <laughs> um, it definitely is an earthy taste, but the everything else was good. So even if you don't like arugula, I would definitely give it a shot, but yeah. Just wanted to update you. See you in the next video.